We all get lots of email that require our attention. We either have to respond to it or do something with it at some point, but it's not always something that we need to deal with in the moment. Sometimes I get things and I know I don't even need to see this until next week, or I'm going to respond to this after a meeting that I'm having on Friday, whatever the situation might be. So let's pretend that this message right here from Paul Miners that I have highlighted is one such item. I got this on Thursday. I don't need to deal with it on Thursday. I need to deal with it next week, week sometime, preferably Monday morning. That's when I want to do this. So I can just leave it here. And as email comes in, it will get pushed further and further down the list. And it's possible that on Monday morning, it will have scrolled off my screen. I might forget about it. There's a better way to handle that. We're going to let this message take a little nap and we'll wake it up on Monday. So here's what I'm going to do. While this is highlighted, I'm going to come up to the top and choose snooze. And you'll see I have options for later today, this weekend, next week, or I could choose a custom date and time of my own. But since Monday morning at 8 o'clock is when I want to see it, I'm going to click that. And the message goes away. Now, here's where it went. It went into this folder over on the side called Snoozed. And you can see it's going to be sitting in there waiting for Monday. But I don't have to remember to go and check it because on Monday morning, it will get sent to me again. It will pop up right at the top of my list and be there for me to read Monday morning at 8 o'clock. If I need to deal with it before then, or if I just get time on Friday afternoon and I think I'll go ahead and deal with it, I can click on snoozed, open the email, and use it just like I would any other time. I can respond to it, I can forward it, I can do whatever I need. Or I can just let it sit knowing that I don't have to think about it and it can come back to me on Monday morning. Now, when a message comes back to you at a later time, here's what will happen. Here's one that I sent to myself earlier. And you can see in green there, it says 8 a.m. It came to me this morning at 8 o'clock because that's when I wanted it to show up. And now I can do just like I would any other email. But you don't lose track of what's happening. If you ever need to know when the email was really sent, that's still right here in the message. It was sent to me Thursday at 11.22 a.m. So that time is just for my reference. It doesn't change the actual content or the timestamp on the email itself. You'll also know which messages appear in your inbox that have been snoozed because they will have that little clock icon there next to it. And in this case, even the color of the time is green, whereas the time on all of my other messages, it's black. So that's the difference. If you are using the Outlook application, snoozing email will look exactly the same. The only difference in the process is that little 8 a.m. timestamp will also be in black, but it will have the clock icon. You'll have your snoozed folder. This is the perfect way to take email that's cluttering your inbox right now, and you're going to deal with it, but you're going to deal with it later. Just get it out of the way. You don't have to worry about it or think about it again until it comes back to you as a new message in your inbox. So snooze your email. Let it take a nap so you can feel less stress and manage what's happening in your inbox today.